down. The pack's looking good there now. The pole car setting the pace. The green flag drops as Sweeney goes for the lead there. Van Der Veen up on the high line there. Van Der Veen hustling in there with Sweeney. Van Der Veen backs off momentarily. Sweeney just pushes a little bit in the nose and that opens the gap for Lindsay Cornwall in the XU1 Tirana. But Sweeney outpowers Lindsay Cornwall down the back straight as Van Der Veen regains his second position. Up on the outside of him is Hammond using that high line. Look at Stephen Mapp and that big Monaro. He's really itching to get through it here. As Map hooks up there with 58 car of Alan Daly. And that doesn't look very good at all. That relegates Map right back down the pack. But Van Der Veen's taken the lead there now from Ray Sweeney in 17. Huey Van Der Veen rockets down the back straight away here at Twin City Speedway. Look at Map in that big Monaro. Comes flying through into third place there. Van Der Veen pushing a little bit in the nose there as they come off the corner. 17 car of Sweeney with a bit of push. As Map rockets around Sweeney in 17. Map throws it up on the high line once again. Round turn one and two gets a little bit too high there. Just happens to bump it with Sweeney, but Map gets it to the ground once again down that back straightaway. Map gets the nose in front of Sweeney there. Sweeney and Map. Map about to pull Sweeney in there. Map's up on the high line here. Van Der Veen pushing, and Sweeney looks like he could get his way through. And look at Robert Ray. He certainly charged his way through the pack here. It's all up front there with Van Der Veen. Sweeney drops back a bit. Map comes through. Map crossed up. Sweeney comes back through there. Sweeney and Map bumping and rubbing in there. And Sweeney gets on the infield there. And that opens the gap for Map. Map's really happy with that little effort because now he's only got to work himself now on Van Der Veen. Map puts the nose under Van Der Veen. Map all over the place here and certainly knows his way around Twin City Speedway there now. As Hammond makes his way through into third place there from 59, Dickie Abbott. Now Map challenges Huey Van Der Veen and Van Der Veen certainly won't like to, to let Map through here. Van Der Veen in the big Commodore up front there. Matt throwing it, revving it like no tomorrow as he comes charging down on the inside once again of Van Der Veen. Can't quite get the bite on the low line. Matt throws it once again there as Van Der Veen pushes there and Matt tries to get down underneath him there. Well, Matt's car's a little bit twitchy in the tail end here, but Matt's certainly not going to back off as Matt goes around the outside there, punches it up high into the corner. Beautiful line by Matt out of that corner. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the second Ray Godsey as he shoots down that back straight away. Number six, Stephen Mapp, and the red light is on with Cornwall in the fence. Holy smokes, Mapp wanted that lead and he was going to do anything to get it. Threw it up high through the Tetran corner there and pulled it down beautifully as he gained that lead. The worst part about it was that that's going to relegate Mapp back into second place on the restart, so it's going to be a horsepower restart. Two laps remaining. But Ray in the 50 car, Sydney's been relegated to the infield. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars left in the event. And bad luck for Ray Sweeney in 17. He's rear of the field there. Coming around for the start now. Van Der Veen's got the pace to set here. Van Der Veen moves up a bit. Map's about to try to get the inside line. Map just can't quite do it. It doesn't have the bite down low, but boy, oh boy, has it got it up high. Now let's see if Map can work that line up high again. Map working that wheel every which way as Van Der Veen gets an edge on him down the straight there now. Map's about to try that same trick again. Let's see if he can do it. Map should figure that he did it once. He'll do it again. Map taking it a little bit more cautiously. Map won't get through this way. He's learnt that about five times that he He's not going to make it on the inside of Van Der Veen, so Map's got to get up on that high line. Map puts the nose underneath Van Der Veen, and it's going to be a drag down this back straightaway, but Van Der Veen just closes that tail down on Map. Just enough to do it. Map's trying it again. Map's up on the high line. Come on, Stephen. Give it heaps. Here he comes now, Stephen. Map on the last lap. Look at Map go as Map takes the win there and gives us a little wave. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Map's found the way around Twin City Speedway, and a big hand for Stephen Map there. That was a great piece of driving there. He decided to give it a go on the outside, and he certainly gave it heaps. Stephen Map out of Barrow in the number six car, the big Monaro, really feeling pleased with himself there now, and looking for the checker to come round and wave to us there. Huey Van Der Veen, he's got to pull in there now and let Map go around and take the honours. Well, that was a top piece of driving if ever we've seen one here. Now we go to the